We're almost done painting the walls. Johnny Magic here. Uh, well, this is eCharger Systems. Um, today we're going to update. Everybody has spring fever, it seems like. Hummers keep pouring in and customers keep calling, please, when can I have my Hummer? So today we're going to spend a little bit of time explaining where we're at in everybody's Hummer and also kind of an understanding of what it takes to actually build one of these. So on the camera, of course, it only takes 30 minutes, but in the real world, it takes a whole lot longer. So this is uh, Boyer, the Plan B Humvee. And uh, of course, at this point in time, Boyer, the body's back on. We had to stop and upgrade your, di your differentials. Um, we didn't real realize that your vehicle was the older model Humvee that has the older differentials, which uh, lasts about, I don't know, two seconds. Um, with the Duramax conversion. So we've got the upgraded hum, uh, d uh, differentials, we got them in, uh, we've installed them and stuff like that. So now they're in the final stage of what we call uh, the cooling system. So right now, I don't know how many radiators and intercoolers we keep buying, but it's like never enough. So uh, we're hoping that the, the intercooler and the radiator, uh, which is a, you know aluminum, uh, you know, custom made just for our application type of radiator intercooler will show up the first of the week and that way we can get that cooling pack on there, finalize the wiring, get your hood back on there and of course go out and do some donuts, play with your Hummer. So that's where we're at. I don't have really a schedule on. I'm kind of waiting on some pieces uh, for it and stuff like that, but uh, it's really close. It's about, I'd say 85 to 90 percent complete at this time. So over here we have uh, Mr. Stone's uh, H1 Hummer, that's a wagon. Mr. Stone was so kind, he actually come down and helped us for a couple of days, just trying to help us get his Hummer done. He's been waiting for a long time. He's pretty excited. And, uh, you know, uh, last conversation we had, we're still waiting on uh, the, the larger brake system um, that you opted to go to and stuff like that. So we're hoping that that'll be in next week, along with, again, on this one, we're waiting for uh, cooling as well. So once we get that stuff, it'll go together pretty, pretty quick. But, uh, you know, we're probably about, I'm going to say about six, 70 percent complete at this point in time. I mean, you know, there was those other mods that we were supposed to get done for you that we haven't finalized yet as far as this, you know, the removal of the sunroofs. Of course, you done it, but uh, uh, you know, now we gotta you know put the tins in there and stuff like that. We just we really have been very short on time. But uh, I apologize. We'll get your vehicle together just real quick. Like I wish we were like McDonald's and just drive through. You know, but uh, doesn't seem to work that way. Or we try our best. But uh, anyways, so over here we have uh, Mr. Kohler. He's probably been the most kindest, gentlest waiting the longest guy and I feel the worst about it but uh, you know the vehicle is probably about 95 percent complete we had to go back and change a lot of the little wiring there's a lot of extra stuff that was added to your vehicle at some time that's kind of been canceled and it was confusing at best but uh, they pretty much got that resolved and everything and and uh, Mr. Kohler you know actually uh, he he must watch these videos because you know I received this box and this box has in it Replacement glasses. Thank you very, very much. I've been wearing these actually even um, during the work hours and work days. I love them. They're very comfortable and uh, I can't thank you enough for that. So I'm hoping that probably if everything goes as planned, maybe next week we'll be back uh, on the street with it, stuff like that. Take care, you know, any kind of shakedown. You never know when, you know, when you do this massive conversion to a vehicle, it's, it's not like just like changing spark plugs. I mean, you know, you're actually disassembling the whole vehicle and then reassembling it. And there's always something, a little, small little things that have to be addressed or, you know, touched up and stuff. So we're hoping that, you know, when the next couple of weeks we'll have all that resolved and you'll have a Hummer back. So we're going to go over here to the H2 Hummer. Well, that's out with the old. They've been great. In with the new. <laughs> These feel good. So Brandon, here we are. We got your yellow H2. Doesn't look like it's together, and it's not actually. Um, but the motor is. We got the motor all together. Got the head stud kit on there. Painted some stuff. Then you know we, we had a lot of fun with it. So it looks really cool. Um, and actually, the suspension's done on this. This is that four-inch lift that we talked about, made by Rancho. That's a great product. We, I mean, it's like been the easiest install we've ever had. Um, but uh, of course at the same time we're doing the install we've been like replacing all the other things the ball joints the tie rods the inner and outer pitman arms pivot arms all that kind of arm everything's been replaced so it's be like brand new so hopefully well 
for sure, probably by the end of next week, we're going to be out there pounding on this, and I can't wait to shoot some videos on the street with this thing. So that's where we're at on your vehicle at this point. So I got one more vehicle to talk about. Well, it's actually a door at this point, but <laughs> as part of uh, Greg's uh, slantback uh, conversion that we're doing at this point in time. And Greg, I, I got your emails and got your texts and stuff like that. And I appreciate all your help and all the information that you can, you ask me about what it is that we're doing to your vehicle because it's very important for you to understand, you know, what you're getting and why we're doing it. So. You know, at this point, you know, the vehicle is out of paint. Um, this is that coating that we talked about and stuff like that. It's beautiful. I don't know how the camera shows it, but, you know, the camera makes me look ugly. So maybe it makes this door look pretty. I don't know. But, um, you know, now we're waiting on, like, components. We sent them out to paint so the hinges will be black and we'll use stainless fasteners. And, you know, everything's nice and, nice and fancy. We're trying to source uh, keyed, you know, door locks and everything for the for the uh, for the vehicle and then we probably in all honesty have at least a couple of three weeks just reassembling you know that that top that soft slant back top or whatever bazillion bolts everything comes apart a lot quicker than it goes back together so but the together going back together is the most important part of making it right so it takes a little bit of time so be patient there you know on top of that you know we have the uh, the heat and AC unit um, that we're going to be installing, which is, you know, the newest custom style. I mean, they're beautiful. They work great. Made by the guys over in Texas at Resto Mod Air. Um, we love their system. We've modified it to fit our application, and we designed our dash around their, uh, not their Haymaker 2, but it's the other one. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it works out fabulous. So, you know, that takes typically about a week to put that together. And then, then we get the star on your Duramax conversion. So I know that you had some high hopes of probably late uh, April or whatever, uh, being able to go uh, play for your Hummer, but in all honesty, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that it's going to take a little bit more time to, to uh, get yours together, uh, and then, of course, do the shakedown and debug it and all that kind of stuff. So be patient with us. We're here. This is, this is Saturday. I'll be here tomorrow. Johnny Magic here at uh, eCharger Systems. We'll see you guys.